lung disease. WYMT's Jeff Allen joins us now with more. Jeff? Steve, the Appalachian Citizens Law Center is urging the Mine Safety and Health Administration to tighten how much coal dust is allowed, something they say could end the risk of black lung. It represents miners who often lose a fight with a debilitating illness, even if they live. They're not even 50 years old yet. Many times they end up using oxygen for the rest of their life on a continuous basis. And officials with the Appalachian Citizens Law Center say black lung cases are increasing. It's somewhat alarming that not only is the uh, incidence of pneumoconiosis increasing, but also what they call the rate of progression. But in the petition, the ACLC is urging the Mine Safety and Health Administration to reduce the allowable level of coal dust by half, something they say occupational agencies suggested back in 1995. With that out there 15 years ago, why do you think it's taken so long and still nothing? I can't explain that. But advocates for the coal industry say mining operations are already struggling to meet current regulations. If they go ahead and keep adding things to them, then I just don't know how they can... Uh, go ahead and pass that cost along. And, you know, they're interested in the safety of, of their miners. And King believes many of today's cases stem from exposure years before current occupational standards. Before now, it really was a problem. And, you know, they, they, they went ahead and, and passed the laws and, and got it down, I think, that pretty good shape. Uh, and I know a lot of people were upset when, when they didn't do as much as they thought they should have. But he says more regulation could cripple the industry. And this petition was just sent to the Mine Safety and Health Administration at the first of this month. So no response yet, but it's now up to MSHA to decide whether to push for the ACLC changes here. Steve. Jeff, thank you. People from around the mountains now.